think the moon has been going all foxed in uh in teams oh, really? today. Yeah. Wow, just immediately opes with grounded lasers. You do get them out faster that way. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh! Taking Moon. the first stock is Team Columbia. Moon showing a little bit of unfamiliarity. Wait. Okay, sorry. The Red Falco looks like he's on blue team. It's always confusing. What? Yep. Because he's, he's just got blue blue feathers, so. I mean, I guess. Confusing. Yeah, it's him and uh, and Blue Mario. Blue Mario and Red Falco look like they should be on the same team. All right, what can Columbia do with the stock lead? Very little. Nothing. 80% is they what no they no longer do with have a stock lead. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Moon has been doing a lot of multi shining though. Has he? And SDing in this game. Yeah, I've seen a couple of those so far. So far, uh, Team Columbia has not taken any stocks. Nope. But the moon has taken at least three stocks, I think. Whoa. Oh, great lasers there from, uh, from right. Zero Omega. Oh my god, he wanted uh, it so bad. Yeah, he did. And honestly, in teams, that's not the worst idea because uh, that means that they cannot go to the ledge. The ledge yeah. is an option that has been cut off by that option. And so Cheese Puff can cover the higher options. And it's actually right. valid. Also, if they take that stock, they're in a pretty decent lead. But now it's only an okay lead. Yeah, they're both at high percent. So, and the moon did not punish that side beat. That was really weird. Moon is actually a uh, pretty high percent as well. Yeah. It. Whoa! I was about to say it seems unlikely it. that he's going to die soon, and then Cheese Puff gets a really good edge guard. Yep. Drops low for the back air. Oh, and wow, they've actually already yeah, they have a clean lead put point. on quite a bit of percent on the moon again. But now he's running around a little more. Uh, moon misses the up throw shine. Nice. All right. Gets the Armada trade. So he's, he's definitely going to take the stock from DJ. Oh, for sure. I would even bet that, that he would take another stock if he died soon. Probably. DJ is uh, a very good teams player, but he generally doesn't go in very much. Yeah, he is, I mean, whenever he plays, he sort of likes to sit back. Yeah. <laughs> um, Moon almost kills DJ there by accident. Moon putting up a very good wall, knowing that DJ can come back. Nice, great shine. Not going to be enough to kill Puff, but it'll keep him keep her away from the edge for long enough for the D DJ to get at least another chance. And Team Columbia has a real chance of taking this first game. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um... Falco is at kill percent, but Falco is always at kill percent in teams. Um, I, Falcos are always at kill percent everywhere. I would say at center stage on FD until like 20, 30 percent, Falco is not at kill percent. I guess oh, some characters. Unfortunate. Uh, Chief Puff back aired. Zero Omega. If they take out the Moonstalk quick though, then I think I have faith in their ability to two on one DJ. Cheese Puff is playing really conservative. He just, like, gave up more space than existed on this stage. <laughs> He's willing to get... Oh, my okay. God. He baits out a four, an up smash, but doesn't punish it. Nice. Good, Good read on the, the angle. Go. Now, up throw rest. Yeah, basically. Or just if, if uh, Zero Mega gets a grab, then it's it. Yep. Pressure. Shine out a shield. DJ. Uh -oh, oh, yep. yep. Great, yeah. great job there from Cheese Puff. Not letting DJ get a combo on. Oh, and that'll kill! That'll be really big. Uh oh. That's it. Oh my god. Oh my god. DJ. Yep. DJ, calm down. Mission complete. Grab and go to game one. Ooh, okay. It feels weird calling them grab and go when they're playing double fox. Yeah. So let's see. Dreamland, yeah. It's go and go. 
like up smash and go, back air and go, shine and go. Actually, it'll probably just be shine and shine within the next year. But shine, shine, shine. Team control, shine and shine. I don't think they're control anymore. They're not? I don't think so. Really? I think they love control. I did not know that. I, I guess, yeah, I haven't seen them wearing the, the control jerseys in a couple of weeks. Well, in an age with big teams, can't blame somebody for yeah. wanting to be part of something bigger. Yeah, I mean, Control was like mostly just because the they're team. friends with yeah. the owner of the team. Ooh, great conversion there from Cheese Puff. Oh, and a great save from DJ. Oh my god. Oh, but team, cannot get back. Team Grab and Go is so good. They're so good. Yeah. Look at those those saves. Those were ridiculous. And yet, they're Ooh, down. Off the rest. Good, and that jab just just saves Cheese Puff. Uh, oh, I like those pounds by Cheese Puff. Yeah, he's staying out of range where it'll be safe to contest him. Right. Um, and also not wasting his jump. He never, yeah. he never wasted one of his jumps. Here. You can infinite stall. Uh, I don't know how frame tight it is. But you can infinite stall uh, if, with rising pounds. Hold the edge. Yep. DJ not about to let go of that ledge. DJ loves his ledge. Like when Mewtwo King left, DJ was like, it's all mine now. I think the uh, East Coast has always kind of been about the lead. Yeah, it's an interesting phenomenon in every game. We sort of like sit back and winning. Yeah. <laughs> Rather than hitting buttons. Like every, I don't know about like, I don't know, shooters or whatever, but I know in fighting games, there's, oh, yeah. it's uh, West Coast has always been more aggressive than East Coast in like every fighting game. Oh, yeah. You look at... You look at the split between Alex Valle and Justin Wong. Yeah. Like, even you even look at Ricky Ortiz between when she was NorCal and then when she went to New York yeah. for a little while, and all of a sudden she stopped hitting buttons. All right, but it's the cold. Like, our fingers just can't do. Yeah. Deal with it. It's the weather. We'll just blame it on the weather. That's, that's why we're bad. That's also why Florida... Oh, my God. Great conversion from Cheese Puff and from Zero Omega. Uh, oh, and now they're up? Wow. That's why Florida isn't truly East Coast, because it's warm there. So they... they, they Although it's warm today. That's true. It's so nice out today. Okay, we're getting a little bit off topic. So? Uh, Team Columbia with a full stock lead. This is Cheese not Puff. an eSports stream. It's true. <sighs> How do you even commentate teams? Teams is oh. so stupid. No, teams is great. I love teams. Nah, fuck teams. Yo, going in. Great up smash from the moon. I'm only saying that because we got bodied. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cheese Puff, as soon as your Omega is off the screen, Cheese Puff just like runs away and starts rising oh, pounds. Oh, that's, that's it for that. Yeah, that's the stock. DJ stock. And I actually think that, um. Yep. Oh! They get a grab. Nice. One one. Is this three out of five or two out of three? It's two out of three. Ooh. Five kills from the moon. Zero kills from DJ Nintendo. Uh, you can definitely see how they're divvying up the uh, the work between the two of them. Moon is going in. DJ is not dying. That's their jobs. Yep. Great pressure from the moon. <laughs> Zero Omega was trying to do a one-on-one -on -one with DJ. And DJ was just like, no, not having it. Yeah. He was just walking backwards. So Zero Omega was like, sure, fine, whatever. We'll just two-on-one your teammate. And the moon, that's why the moon is at 112% already. DJ was too willing to sit back. Okay, nice dash attack that's going to kill. And DJ sitting at 22%. <laughs> It's so frustrating playing DJ in teams because he really, he'll, he's actually gone chic against me in teams and he'll just like Shino stall and then like the moon will throw you over and then he'll just edge Oh, you. Phantom Rest. No real punish oh, though. Oh, for real? Yep. Uh, like I was saying, like he'll end the game 
with like having only taken a total of like maybe 80%. It's like, yeah, I can't mean, can you approach, please? Yeah, getting cornered in this game is weird because it's not. You're not automatically in pressure just because you're in the corner, right? Yeah. When you're Shino stalling, you're not under pressure. Right. Um, Unless they take the ledge from you. Yeah, but taking the ledge from somebody who's Shino stalling perfectly is actually dangerous and scary. Eh, it's not that bad. I don't know. I, unless you're... Maybe that's just because I play terrible characters. I, who, who do you play? I mean Luigi. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi doesn't really... like. You kind of need to perfect wave dash fastball to actually steal the ledge from a Shino stalling Sheik. All right, she can go. do it just fine. She can do it just fine. Fox Falco can do it just fine. Great save from Cheese Puff. And he gets bottom. Yeah, but that save was better than nothing. It forced them to react. And I guess. I mean, what was the alternative? He just falls and dies? Nah, he just plays Sheik, needles him, and then he can actually two, two on two. That's why Puff is bad. Confirmed. She's Puff too is bad. slow. That's, what I, that's why everybody complains about her. Puff is just a slow game. Who Puff's complains about Puff? No one plays Puff. The only good Puff is Hungrybox. Yo, shots. I mean, if Dark was still playing, he'd be good. Dark is really good. He doesn't play. That's true. He plays PM. Does he? Sometimes. I've never seen Dark at a tournament since he my goes, very first tournament. He goes to Smashing Grounds. What Shout outs to you, Smashing Grounds. It's a PM Weekly in uh, Framingham. Moving to Natick this week. Game Underground. But New yeah. England represent. Let's go. Puff is a low tier confirmed. <laughs> Just like Falcon. Yeah, but no, Falcon wait, what am I talking about? Falcon's broken. Falcon is actually a low tier, though. No, Falcon's actually broken. Yeah, he's like a broken low tier. No, he's just broken. Oh! Oh, I missed the double up air. Weird. Not a very good punish from Jesus. That was weird. Oh! Yeah, that's that's probably it. I, I don't see a puff taking on a 2v1. Unless you're hungry, box. Yep. Especially against Double Fox. Yeah. That's really hard. Puff struggles against one Fox, let alone two Foxes. It's just too much Fox going on.